Okay, so who's ready to start stashing a little cash on the side to build up that emergency fund? Or maybe you wanna be able to send in a little more than the minimum payment to your credit cards. Are you looking for some easy and some quick win style savings challenges to keep you motivated? Well, in this video, I have four different this or that style savings challenges to show you. And these are quick and easy ones. Hello Honey is also going to be a this or that style. Today's version is called, Would You Rather? So I know you're ready to save and I know you're ready to have fun doing it. Let's go. Everything is going to be a choice today. I always wanna keep that word fresh for you guys. You have a choice on what you save for, you choose how much you are saving, and you choose whether you want to enjoy it or dread it. I choose to enjoy it and I think you do too or you would not have clicked on this video. So today we have $300 to save. Let's count it out. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300 dollars. Okay, so let's put this over here and get started with this video. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. If you are new to savings challenges, you picked a perfect video to start with. So the first one we're going to do, save or spend. This is a dice game and this one gives you the option to do both in one game. You could save for something you want and save for something you need, or you could even turn this into a short-term and long-term style savings game. So let's get our dice. And what you do is you rotate. So let's see how this works. So I rolled a six and a one. So I'm gonna put the six at the top for save and the one for spend. So we're gonna roll again. And this time I got a three and a one. I'm gonna put the lower number at the top this time, the higher number at the bottom. And you keep rotating the whole way through the game. So let's go ahead and do that a couple more times. Six and a four. So I'm gonna put the higher number and the lower number. Two twos. So this one is no alternating. And let's go one more time. Two and a six. So the higher number will go down to spend, lower number to save. Okay, let's add this up and see what I owe for the save envelope. Okay, and this game comes with two separate envelopes. You've got your save and your spend. Let's add up and see how much I owe each one. So for save, I have six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars. Seventeen for save, and I have one, four, eight, nine, ten, sixteen for spend. Sixteen in the spend envelope. All done with save or spend. Okay, let's pull a couple busy bee cards. And anything that I save using these today is going to go towards my 100 envelope challenge. And we'll do that at the end of the video. So what I'm going to do today with the Busy Bee cards, because everything is about choice, I'm going to pull two. And then I'm going to choose which one of these I want to do. So we could either save $5 with the Honey Money, or we could do a Spelling Bee card. I think I'm going to go with the Spelling Bee card. And we got a three, which is something red. I think that's pretty obvious. We're gonna go with my nails, which is also five. And I'm gonna put this up here and we'll add it all up at the end of the video. Okay, and the next game we're gonna play is called Night or Day. And this one is based on the current time. And let me go see what time it is. So I just checked the time and it is exactly 1.24 p.m. 
So I wrote 124 up in the corner. It is PM, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna add the extra two. $2, we'll put that to the side. So the next thing to choose is whether you want to save bills or coins. I'm gonna go ahead and save bills, and I'm gonna go ahead and add these together. One plus two plus four is seven, plus the two. So I'm gonna be saving a total of $9 today for night or day. $9. And I like how April shows you down here, if it starts to get up to those really high numbers, like $18, you can just take those two numbers and add them together and save a total of nine. That way you're always staying within your budget and you're not trying to save more than you can actually save. So we've got our night or day envelope. I've got my $9. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. And if I was saving coins, I could have saved nine quarters for $2.25. I could have saved nine dimes for 90 cents. The possibilities are endless with these savings challenges. Okay, so this time I'm gonna pull three Busy Bee cards and I'm gonna choose two of them to play. One, two, three. We've got the Wildflower card the hibernate card, and the be on time card. I think I'm gonna go with the be on time since I know what time it is. And she's got here that you can save based on your current hour. It's one o'clock, so that's one. And then out of these two, I think I'm gonna go with the wildflower card and save whatever amount I want. And I'm gonna go with 20. Okay, so we're gonna take a break in the middle and we're gonna go ahead and play Hello Honey. And today's version is called, Would You Rather? And if you're new to the channel, this is a freebie game. We play this every Sunday and it's always something different. It is down below in the description. All you have to do is click it and print it out and you can play Hello Honey today. So here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna ask you 10 Would You Rather questions. Once you've decided which one you would rather do, I have a $1 and a $2 card. I'm gonna have these turned over. I'm gonna be flipping them around. And if you choose A, this will be how much you save. If you choose B, this side will be how much you save. Question number one, would you rather communicate telepathically or know every single language on the planet? Would you rather communicate telepathically or know every single language on the planet? Okay, so if you chose to communicate telepathically, you will save $1. If you wanna know every single language on the planet, you're gonna save $2. Okay, question number two. Would you rather have a one minute conversation with your past self or your future self? Would you rather have a one minute conversation with your past self or your future self? Okay, past self is $1, future self, $2. Question number three, would you rather be overdressed or underdressed in perpetuity, including when you're at home? Would you rather be overdressed or underdressed all the time. Okay, if you went with overdressed, you save $2. If you went with underdressed, you save $1. Question number four. Would you rather have tons of mediocre friends or one really loyal dog? I think we all know what my answer is. Tons of mediocre friends is worth $1, one really loyal dog, worth $2. Okay, let's keep going. We've got number five. Would you rather live in a world where it constantly snows or constantly rains? Constantly snows or constantly rains? Okay, constantly snows, $1, constantly rains, $2. Let's mix these up again. 
Okay, question number six. Would you rather not brush your teeth for a week? <sighs> it gets worse. Or not take a shower for two weeks? Oh my goodness. Okay, not brush your teeth for a week. Save $2. Not take a shower for two weeks. Save $1. All right, number seven. This one I thought was pretty funny. Would you rather wear heels at the beach or sandals at a muddy outdoor music festival? Heels at the beach, sandals at a muddy outdoor music festival. Okay, heels, $1. Sandals, save $2. Okay, I like this question too. Number eight. Would you rather travel back in time to meet your ancestors or travel forward in time to meet your descendants? This is a tough one. Would you rather meet your ancestors or your future descendants? Okay, let's see. Ancestors, save $2. Descendants, you save $1. Okay, we have two more. Number nine is, would you rather explore the deep sea or outer space? Deep sea or outer space? Okay, my deep sea friends, $2, and my outer space friends, $1. Okay, and the last question on would you rather is, would you rather have a photographic memory or the ability to read minds? Photographic memory, ability to read minds. Okay, if you'd rather have a photographic memory, save $1. If you want to read minds, $2. I do not think I would want to read minds. I don't want to know what everybody out there is thinking. Okay, so those are our 10 questions. Add up everything that you saved. But don't worry, you guys already know there is a bonus round. This is, once again, your choice. You do not have to play the bonus round if you don't want to. But if you'd like to save just a little bit more on Hello Honey today, let's get started. What better way to make decisions than to use dice? So the first thing I want you to decide is whether you're going to save bills or coins. Okay, which one are you going to save? Bills or coins? And I'm going to roll two dice. You can roll your own if you want. If you've got a couple dice, roll your own dice and get your own numbers. I'm going to roll the two and then decide which one of these I want to save. So I'm going to save bills. I am going to play this part with you guys. Do I want to save six bills or one? I'm going to save six. So I'll put my six to the side and we're going to do this two more times. Do you want to save bills or coins? I'm going to go with bills again. Ooh, I got a five and a six. I'm going to go ahead and just save five this time. And the last roll. I got two fours, so I'm gonna go ahead and save another $4. Four. Four. So I have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $15, but I want you guys to tell me what you saved in the comments. I'm gonna average them out and add that to my $15, and that will be my total for today's Hello Honey. Okay, so let's put my $15 away for now. And I actually was asking Jason those would you rather questions right before I started filming. And I found it kind of interesting that we had opposite answers on almost every single one. I don't know, we usually agree on everything, but for some reason those questions, we were exact opposites. Okay, let's pull some busy bee cards. I think I'm gonna pull four of them this time and do two. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna keep it easy here and we have two Honey Money cards. I'm gonna save the three and the two for an even five. And we'll put these to the side. 
Okay, let's get into heads or tails. This is a coin game and April has actually redone heads or tails. There's a lot more going on this time than there was on the older version. Okay, lots of choices. So what we're gonna do is first you choose two amounts that you can save. Okay, so let's start there. I can save $5 and $10. And then the next thing is choose two categories that you want to save for. Hmm. Uh, let's go with my trip that is coming up next month. And let's go with my daughter's birthday. Maybe I could add a little extra to her birthday fund. Okay, so we've got two amounts and two different things to save for. Now we're gonna flip the coin and let's see which one wins, heads or tails. Okay, so I got tails on that one and that means $10. And you know what guys, I'm gonna do this again because I actually really like it. I'm going to save for the same things, our trip and Emma's birthday. But this time I'm gonna do $10 and $20. Okay, let's see if Emma wins again. Emma's got an extra $10 for her birthday fund so far. And this time I got tails, which means yes, Emma did win again. And <laughs> she gets an extra $20. So we're gonna go here and here. So she gets an extra $30. And of course there is a dashboard for your envelope, but since I was very specific about this one and I said that I wanted to put it in my daughter's birthday envelope, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in here as a little bonus for her birthday present. I'm actually really liking this version of Heads or Tails. Okay, how many of these should we pull? Let's pull four and do three. One, two, three, four. So I'm only not going to do Hive a Good Day. So let's put this one to the side and we're gonna do these three. Now this one is called Be Spending based on the last thing I purchased. Hmm, what is the last thing I purchased? Okay, that took me a minute. I actually had to pause the video and think about it. I The last thing I purchased was one of those hole punchers for the A6 size pieces of paper. So that's what it was. And that is definitely something else. And that is worth $1. And the Moody Bee. Let's see, what kind of mood am I in today? I would say I'm a happy bee and he is worth $3. So I'm going to take two from there and put a five. And this last one is vitamin B. This goes by the temperature. And I think we're about in the 60s today, so that's worth a dollar. And I'm going to cash these out for a 10. Okay, so our last this or that savings challenge today is called rain or shine. And this one is based on your current temperature. You add a dollar if it's raining, $2 if it's sunny outside. I'm gonna go find out what our temperature is today. Okay, so today is a high of 55, a low of 41. And that is another choice you can make is you can go with your high temperature of the day or the low temperature, that's up to you. And then down here, same thing, bills or coins. I'm gonna go with the bills and I'm gonna go with the high temperature today of 55. So five plus five is 10 plus, it is sunny today. So adding the five plus five for 10, adding the two, I'm saving $12 in rain or shine today. 12, going into rain or shine today. And that's not all for our this or that savings challenge video. Let's add up some scratch offs. Okay, so the first thing I have to choose is 
which one do I want to do? I'm going to go with Bake to Save. I love this one. And let's go ahead and finish out. Let's finish out a Halloween one that I did not complete yet. Let's start with those two. And another thing that is your choice with scratch offs is that you choose whether you want to do a higher or lower budget on Etsy when you order these. April has different amounts for you guys to choose from. So you get to play with whatever you're comfortable with. So let's start with finishing off the cauldron cash. So we've got five to start five, 14. And the last one is eight. So we're up to $27 so far. And this one I love. This one is new, big to save obviously for Christmas. But what I really like about this one is whatever symbol you scratch on the front, you come to the back and guess what? You get to choose which one you're gonna save. So let's check this one out. I love this one. All right, so let's start here. Okay, so that is a gift. Let's look on the back and see what that means. This one, scratch the tree or gift, save $5 for every occupant in your home right now, including pets. Okay, so I have me, Jason, and Uhtred. Of course, Uhtred is here. So that would be three people at $5 a piece. That's 15. We're up to 42. Okay, I definitely cannot stop playing this one. I'm gonna do this one more time. Okay, we got the gingerbread man. Let's see what he means. Did you scratch the gingerbread house or man? Pull as many playing cards as you wish. Cool. And then she's got different amounts. Diamonds are worth two. Spades are four. Clubs are six. Hearts are worth eight. Okay, so let's get the playing cards. Okay, I'm going to shuffle these up. And let's start pulling these cards. Okay, a spade is worth four. Let's go two more times. A diamond is worth two. And the last one, spade, is worth four. Okay, I really like this scratch off. I hope she comes up with some more like this one. Let's all tell her now that we want more. More of these, April. Okay, I'm up to $52. 50 and I've got some cash over here to the side. I'm gonna take this five so that I can do the 52 into the scratch off envelope. And I do not count this one until it's too full and I'm ready to see how much I've got all together. So we'll have to wait on that one. And let's see how much over here was saved up with the Busy Bee cards. We've got $36 and What we've got left is 50, 70, 90, 110, 11, 12, 13, 113. So I've got $149 going into my 100 envelope challenge. So let me see how I'm gonna do this today. I think I'm going to, let's put 149 in the calculator and subtract, let's go with number 52. And that leaves $97. Let's do 26. And that leaves 71. So we're gonna do 71, 52, and 26. 52, 71, 26, all colored in for the $149. Twenty-six, fifty-two, and 71 and I don't know if you, <laughs> you guys watched I think a couple weeks ago where I only had a bunch of ones left so I had to do this let's go ahead and fix this let's add these up and see how much this is And I've got larger bills over here from my Christmas fund. I haven't taken to the bank yet, so I'm gonna use it to fix this. Okay, so there's $268 here. 
So one, two, 250, 260, 65, 66, 67, 68, and I'm gonna take all this and put it in this stack. So now this money goes with these envelopes. And then today's envelopes goes with that money. And now that we've got that all fixed, let's rubber band it all together and put it in the back. All done with the 100 envelope challenge. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how the easy savings challenge games can sometimes be the best ones. I love finishing them out and putting them towards whatever it was I was going for. It is the best feeling and you just want to keep doing it over and over again. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do savings challenge videos like the one you just watched. We do cash envelope stuffing, budgeting, and a lot more. If this is your first time on Two Sister Bees, don't forget to go to the description and click on these freebie games. There is a lot more down there for you guys than just Hello Honey, so be sure to check that out. And in the meantime, click here and check out my latest cash envelope stuffing video and keep watching Two Sister Bees.